Hello and welcome. This is Paul Pappas from Mortgage Choice. So what are the factors that you should be looking for when you're buying property, especially as a first home buyer who's never done it before? So what are we should be looking at? Let's have a bit of a look. Um, look, the first things um, and some basic concepts are what loosely call the three P's in terms of position, price and potential. So in terms of posi position, what area do you work in? What area do you socialize in? Where are your family and friends? Um, and so these little issues um, or big issues really, um, all come into play in terms of determining the area and the position that you want to live in. Of course, this has got to match up with the price um, in terms of what you can afford and so forth. But you've also got to look at the future in terms of the potential, in terms of your um, where are you going to be working, where are your family and friends going to be, the lifestyle that you want to have in the future and so forth. Ultimately, it comes down to this, and that is you've got to strike the balance, and this is the hard part that you've got to strike the balance between your emotions and the numbers. In other words, look, we'd all love to live close to the city, close to work, um, and um, not have to travel too far to um, go out and see our family and friends, but still work and enjoy some good recreation and so forth. But the, but it all comes down to matching all this up with, with the budget. Um, and this is something that um, it, it, it becomes a very, very critical personal decision that you need to make, trying to get this balance right. Um, very very important so what's your once you find your property then what do you do okay well it all depends on what you've bought so uh, or what you're looking at buying i should say so as far as units are concerned um the first thing that you need to do is um is obtain a strata inspection report now your solicitor or conveyancer can assist you with obtain this and go through the report with you to explain the report what you're looking for of course is defects um, and the cost of the um, quarterly strata repayments um, and what benefits you get for what services you get for that. Obviously, um, if the property has more uh, pools and lifts and other type of services um, that are available to the general community, then of course the, the strata rates are gonna be higher. Um, we can assist you with a property valuation report and we can provide you with a computerized report that provides you with an estimate as to what the property could be worth um, in terms of its current value what similar properties in the area have sold for, what um, uh, units in the complex may have sold for, what that property um, most recently sold for, to give you a guide on, on really what the property is, is worth. Um, you need to talk to your solicitor about reviewing your, um, your contract to negotiate um, any conditions that you don't like or would like to include, uh, but certainly get your solicitor to review the contract for you. We can certainly recommend some good solicitors um, to go through that process with you. Houses are a little bit different, okay? So um, as far as houses are concerned, uh, you need to do a pest and building inspection report to make uh, ensure um, that there are, again, that there are no defects with the house and, and no pest that you need to worry about either. And they, uh, most um, there are qualified inspectors that can do that. Again, your solicitor or conveyancer can organize that for you. Um, property valuation report, same as what I said before, we can organize the same report for you. Again, review the contract with your solicitor. Um, any searches recommended by your solicitor, um, you need to um, consider as well. Um, now this could be uh, council uh, certifications, um, it could be um, a, a number of things depending on the uniqueness of the property, what um, you, your concerns might be when you viewed the property and what some of the things that the agent has indicated to you as far as the property is concerned and how they've marketed the property to you. Um, you need to um, make sure that you've ticked the, um, the right um, boxes um, for yourself. Um, council building approval is something that I touched on earlier to make sure that all the improvements to the property have been in fact council approved. Um, as always, um, we're here to help you, guide you through the process in terms of making sure that you do all your right due diligence um, and, and helping you select the right property in the right area for you um, and, and do all the due diligence for you. Thank you for attending.